time, everybody clap your hands. hands. Morning, guys. Today's Monday. Good morning, everyone. Good morning. Good morning. I am dressed. Twins are off to school. The boys have a very exciting day today. They get to ride on a school bus. They don't often get to do this, but today they are going on a field trip with their school. That one time recently when we were getting passports, you guys saw downtown Modesto. That is where they're going. They're going to Gallo Art Center for a play and their whole school's going so it's their field trip they're really excited because they get to ride a school bus it's the little things in life that the kids get grateful for right i think it was so sweet that their teacher asked me if i wanted to chaperone i actually i've gone to every one of their field trips ever since they've started this school i mean it's nice that she asked me i would have been okay if she didn't ask me but she's like hey did you want to go i was like okay and monday's actually my regular day to be in one of their classrooms anyway so it worked out well probably not this cold outside but we'll be inside so i'm just gonna put on some boots a scarf a sweater a long sleeve <sighs> no scarf there's no scarf here i am done i'm getting ready i'm done getting ready i've got everything on i just need to put my scarf on my I just need to put my scarf. Who who has a scarf on? I don't have a scarf on. You know what I don't have? It's my watch. I feel literally. If I do not have a scarf. Uh, scarf. Scarf. Let's count how many times I say scarf that I don't even have on. If I don't have my watch on, I feel naked. I got this. Let me say goodbye to Sigourney, my son, really quickly. And then off I go. I'm leaving. I love you. I'm leaving. He doesn't want a kiss. Okay, I'll take my kiss back. Listen, I gotta go help in brother's class, okay? Gotta go be with the oh. boys real quick, okay? And then you and I are gonna hang out. She'll be back real quick. Okay, Papa. Okay, okay Mom. Bye, Mommy. Have fun. Bye, Mommy. Have fun. Bye, Mommy. Have fun. Can I have a kiss? Mm-mm. Okay. That's all right. Are you gonna have a good day? Mm-hmm. Okay, tell me. Mm -hmm. You have a good day too. Say I. No, I'm not. Okay, that's your papa's problem. Okay. <laughs> he's FaceTiming my sister in law like he Hi. does every morning. Say good morning. Good morning. Good morning. <laughs> and he shows me his cereal, the, the cookie crisp, and the honey cakes, and the cinnamon toast. Cinnamon. Today, today is honey cakes. Just honey cakes today. Yeah. I think yeah, I'm sorry, no, nobody no. wants like it. Love you. I was talking to my mama on the phone on my drive here. I've safely made it to the Gallo Center. I don't see any school buses here. When I drove by, they were actually loading up and stuff. The teacher asked me to get here at 9.30. I am here and it's 9.29. Funny how that works out don't run late i'm actually okay with that so i actually found a parking it's a two hour parking so 9 30 10 30 11 30 i have two hours until i have to move my car before it either gets ticketed or towed away i don't want either so hopefully i'll be able to remember to move my vehicle i'm gonna go find some of my mommy parents my regular crew is not here I'm gonna go make some new friends i think all of these kids look exactly the same and it's hard to find them here they are hello hello jonas mom hi hello jonas mom hello jonas mom hey. you hi. beat us i did hello keep up keep up keep up okay There's Kids everywhere. Yeah. Oh. When you're down and you stare at your window, hoping that you'll come up with some words to say. That's not okay. Are you excited? Yeah. What are we? Do you know what we're gonna be watching? Dragon love tacos. Dragons love tacos. Yeah. That's cool. Did you? So they watched a video about it and then this is an actual play. So we may have to find them the book. Is there a book about it? 
in a two-hour parking spot it's 11 20 so I actually have just enough time to get to my car you guys probably already know what I'm gonna say I have to use the restroom so bad I have to use the restroom so so bad it's it's ridiculous I actually enjoyed like the walk I love the downtown atmosphere even though I like our downtown is this little it's really nice to do I was talking to like some of the parents that were there, they actually arrived to the um, the Gallo Art Center without, some of the parents were not allowed to go inside because there wasn't enough room for them to be able to all have parents and, and the kids there. Some parents arrived to the Gallo Center knowing that they would be able to go in and enjoy the play with their kids because they didn't have enough room for parents and kids. Does that make sense? Yeah, I think that makes more sense. It was kind of sad, but there was also some concerned parents that were there as the play began and also as the play was ending, they were still waiting for their children to get out safely and then get into the school bus. I've changed my approach on it and I was like, well, actually, I think I was kind of, I was grateful and kind of felt honored that the teacher would even ask me to actually chaperone the play. And then now when I think about it, I'm even more grateful that she did that because I wasn't separated from my kids and I was just with them the whole day. I mean, they're not sheltered. I really don't know what I'm trying to say, but you guys understand what I'm saying. It was nice that I was with my kids and their safety was never something that I had to worry about because I was right there with them. And they were okay compared to the parents that, you know, literally had, there was, I don't know, I, how many people were in there? maybe a thousand there was just like a thousand kids if not more I'm just picking a number sitting all in the same area with third for every 30 children there was maybe one chaperone and some of them had two so maybe one and a half to be on the safe side but for me to be there the whole time with my kids and know that I was right next to them made me feel comfortable compared to the parents that were outside that weren't given the option or the opportunity to go in. So I guess I'm just, what I'm saying is that I'm grateful for the opportunity to be able to do that. So I have about, let's just say one hour until I'm going back to the boys' school and I'm actually going to be doing that all of this week. They have a book fair and I'm actually helping run the book fair so I'm gonna be doing the register part of it I'm really excited to be able to help they actually I've done it for one two this is the third year that I'm helping in the book fair so I help as much as I can and I actually a secret about me is that I love cash registers I'm really good with dealing with money my first job was a grocery store I used to work at Sam's Food City back in oh gosh I graduated in 03 so in 2002 was my first job and I was 15 and a half and I was working with a work permit and I was allowed to work 13 hours a week. And I loved it because I got to buy shoes for myself with the money that I made, but that's just a side note. I love retail. I love being able to talk to people. I love to talk. I don't know if you guys know that, but I'm headed home now. I hopefully Silas has not gone down for a nap. I'm actually going to call Ryan really, really quickly and make sure that he stays up until I get home. Um, spend just like this much time with him, shove some food in my face so I'm not starving while I'm helping, 
off to the school again. Kiki, okay? Excuse me? Kiki. What have you been teaching him? You know, self-defense. You're gonna kick me? Yes. Don't kick me, I'll be oh, he kicked me. <laughs> he was looking at me. He kicked me right here. That's not kind. You, I see that you didn't put your laundry away while I was gone. Mm -hmm. You're not tired, are you? Look at this kid. You look like he fits on a step. <laughs> yeah, well, he still has room. Put your legs all the way down. Push, put, put your legs down. Let me see if you fit. Is this your new bed? Mm -hmm. Oh, you have maybe half a year more. <laughs> you waited for mommy? Yeah, you got your nap time diaper on? Mm hmm Okay. Can't even see him. There he is. Could you imagine if you fell asleep here, you try to walk up. The pants. What pants? You have pants on. No, where is the pants? What pants? One is... Oh, heavier and heavier. Heavy. And he's not even heavy. How much does Silas weigh, Ray? Yeah, he weighs less than 30 pounds, but trying to lift him up and put him in his crib is like, sometimes a little bit challenging. All right. Where's my boys? <gasps> Your boys? Mm -hmm. Your boys are at school. Go kick my boys. When you wake up from your nap, they're going to be here. So you got to hurry up and take a nap, okay? All right. I told him to hurry up and take a nap, and he's hurrying up so he can take a nap. Good night. I'll see you in a little bit, okay, son? Oh, I should take this off. Yeah, later. Not yet, okay? Mm -hmm. When you're a little bit bigger, we'll take this off. Sweet dreams. <laughs> I'll tell you right now what it says. So Ryan and I had a work-related call to make, and we both needed to be involved in the call, and I went to go get a piece of paper just to write. It just says today's date at 11.26 a.m. It was like 15, 20 minutes. 15 minute call i just have to write things i just have to there's nothing in it except today's date and time but it just in case somebody says something i don't want to be like oh hold on let me go get a piece of paper really quickly i do type paper let me get my blood i went to grab the first paper that i saw and i dare not get it you guys because look what this says jonah nobody take and touch so i can take it as long as i don't touch it at the same time Right, yeah, you can blow it. And then this is that. Look. Look what it's. Stop it. It's lift off. Oh. Is it a rocket? What is it? What is the back of this? Go Uno. Go Neck. Go Purple. Go Green. Go Green. Go. Face set. Go. Go. Go Shirt. Go Face. What is this? But would you write on this piece of paper? Like, for real. Would you write on this? I'm afraid to even look at it. So I haven't eaten lunch yet, which is what I came home to do. I gotta leave in like no time to go back to the school. I gotta find some food in this refrigerator because the food's not gonna find me. Sharing with Ryan what I thought about the, the play and why not tell you guys too? I just have to start over just a little bit. So about 20 minutes into it, they you can see that the class started fidgeting. Like there was more movement and more movement and fidgeting escalated. You see, you know how like the the seats they go back, you see them going like this, like the it was like a like a wave of it going back and forth, back and forth, and then you hear and then as it went further and further, like you when one scene was over and another scene was gonna start, the clapping got even more enthusiastic, like, Yay, it's, it's over. Really oh wait, it's starting <laughs> over again. So what age groups did it have? All those from kindergarten to six or only um TK, so transitional yeah. kindergarten, kindergartners in first grade, but it wasn't just their school. It was Stanislaus Union School District. I don't think Modesto City School went. Stanislaus went also. So it wasn't just the kids from our boys' school, it was right. all the kids, even though it's the same behavior. That's yeah. crazy. I mean the whole auditorium was fixed. Here's one thing that I did notice, and I was kind of talking to the vlog about it earlier. Remember how I was telling you guys that some of the parents didn't get to go inside, and it was kind of, I kind of changed my attitude about being able to go inside. There was a parent outside, and I was like, hey, you know, like, he was the only gentleman there, and we were kind of, all the ladies were standing in this group, right? He was saying how he's from Stanislaus School, I guess. This lady walks up with these. 
Gallo Center for the Arts. So she walks up and she's like, "Would you? are you going in? I was like, yeah. And then everybody in the circle was like, yeah, we're going in. And then she assumed that the gentleman that was standing in the circle was going in also and just like basically was handing him the sticker. His point in that circle that we were in was like, I don't feel comfortable with my son going in. He was really little, she said. Probably, a, he said, he was like a TK or something like that, right? He's like, he's never been to a play before. He's never been anywhere on a school bus outside of our circle. I could be somebody that they don't know and that are offering me a sticker to see if I can go in, if I want to go inside. And all I have to do is go inside. They didn't check, they didn't pat me down when I went in. I mean, not that they should, or maybe they shouldn't. They do have security everywhere. There wasn't a thing that you went into, but I think that what his point was that there's so much of the news and nobody was really saying it, like something could happen in there with all the kids and stuff. So I don't know, he was just like, oh, all I have to do is take the sticker. I said, heck, you can take half my sticker and I'll just put my hood over the rest of my area, right? Like you can literally go in. So he was just concerned and he stayed there. So his kid went in. He waited for the bus of kids to come, which he was kind of panicking because the kids, his bus wasn't there with his kid. And then when I was walking out, he was sitting on the bench. I was, he was like, how was it? I was like, it was good. I felt bad that he couldn't go in, but there wasn't enough room for them for their class. Their, only the teacher got to go because of chaperones and all of that. Chaperones. Yeah. Cha chaperones. I've been saying it wrong all day. I can't pronounce it well. But yeah, you guys, it's just, I think that sometimes things happen in our day that we kind of flip our attitude around like, if I was outside, I probably wouldn't have followed the bus to the art center, but I may have had my kids been in transitional kindergarten and that was the first thing that my kids have done. But I think because we have the twins, I think it's a little bit different because they have each other maybe. I don't know, but it was, it just changed my I don't know. intake on it. Maybe he was being extra. What do you guys think? What do you think? Devil's advocate. Like you're going to, keep your kid in a bubble all the time or are you gonna let them experience life and granted I know it was his first event going to or whatever but that's part of being a kid is going on a field trip and like you know experiencing things that you maybe haven't experienced I mean that's yeah what I think it's 50 50 but at the same time what has he experienced he was older than me he's probably older than you and he has a kid in transitional kindergarten so what has he experienced? Yeah, I, mean, I, don't I know, know, it's a hard one. I don't think that we really need to have an answer for it. It's just something that I kind of wanted to I mean, share. Sometimes with risks, it um, it brings a healthy courage. Mm -hmm. You know, if you do something that you haven't done before, I think sometimes it brings a little bit of a healthy courage. Oh, it was 50-50, but I was like, oh, the teacher asked me to go on a Monday. I don't want to go. But then I was like, I got to go. I didn't have to go. She picked me to go. Only because I always volunteer in the class on Monday and it was easier for her to pick me. But it was longer and it was a different time. And I actually had to drive there. Good thing my check came in. So I had gas money to go. I'm kidding. It's like not even anywhere close to paid it yet. Ow. Look. The sacrifices I make. You can't even see it. My thumb doesn't move. Wait. Where is there? It's, yeah, right here. It's right there. You see it? I was holding my phone. And it's all squished in. All right, I'm really gonna eat something because I'm gonna complain that I'm hungry. And my husband's leaving to go to the grocery store like he was supposed to go earlier too. I'm freaking out because my husband is not here yet and I'm supposed to be helping in the boys' classroom. Well, I'm actually supposed to be helping at the book fair. We have three minutes left before I need to be there. Okay, I'm most likely being dramatic. Let me tell you really how many minutes. Five minutes. He just got here. Okay, control the lines to the grocery store, I see. Do I have time to get there? I may as well drive because it looks like it's going to rain. Hey, everybody. everybody. Thanks for watching. Thanks, Thanks for watching. watching. Until next time. We'll see you next time. Come on, time. let's go. Let's go.